This campground is so nice, even the bears love it. Hey there, we're rounding out our day. We just finished uh, partway through, the, I guess, the very beginning of Section 5, correct? Right, right. So today we left, uh, you last saw me in a bed, I guess, uh, with my foot propped up. Obviously, he's feeling a lot better because he's here and we're, we are in the wilderness. Um, so but, how, how's your pain level, Mike? It's about a four. Four? With medicine. With medicine, Minimal okay. swelling. Um, basically, as long as I'm not too dynamic on the bike and twisting it, mm -hmm. it's going to be okay. I, I think it was good I had an x-ray just to be sure because it, it did bruise and it did swell. And and peace did. of mind. That we also knew that it's right. just painful. We wasn't doing, you wasn't doing any real damage. Right. But it also meant we added 30 miles to our journey today from Casper yes. back to uh, Alcova, which yeah. is where... Pavement. Pavement, which is <laughs> where we started. Um, and then we hooked up with a few guys that mentioned to us that with my bum foot, it might be better to go down to Ore Road and do the last half of Section 4. Yeah, the Beaver Ridge. Yeah. Yeah, because they say it was just really deep sand and it wasn't a whole lot to see and it was, it was quite technical. So we, we made the call with uh, the way Mike's foot is and it's still swelled and he's not able to latch one of the buckles on his boot. So we want to take it easy on Mike, but uh, continue. Our, our, the, the goal is to, is to finish the trip. And so we, but we did do the uh, Beaver Rim and uh, it was okay. Um, it was kind of sandy. It wasn't super technical, but you just had to watch. Yeah, That's all I'll say. You really couldn't, you couldn't look out, uh, out, you know, and, and check out the scenery a whole lot unless you come to complete stop. Because if you did, it, we was on basically two track, and you go up over the center where your front wheel's gonna hit and it's gonna wash out, and there was quite a bit of rocks, and there was some sand areas. So you have to pay attention on this. You can't be, um, off looking off at the um, the vast uh, valley down down below because it, it will come back to bite you. Yeah, this time you've seen the videos. We did take some pictures of it. And I don't know. I'm not a super fan of the sage. It's okay. Yeah, but it's I'm not, not great. either. But I was a little disappointed, I, I guess. It is really windy. We're along the Beaver Rim portion of Section 4. It is super windy up here. Um, and it's, it feels very remote. There is an overlook uh, that I'm looking at, and I'll show you in a little bit, and you can't see a car moving, not a dust trail. Yeah. Um, we, we was, uh, from, from the BDR um, videos, the official BDR videos, it seemed quite spectacular, but eh, it's just okay. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'd rate it to, just okay. But I'm glad, I'm glad we did it. Um, and, oh, and, and toward the end, uh, we were rut racing the end of Section 4. We were watching this lightning off in the distance. I didn't, don't know if I've got any on, on the GoPro for sure, because it's hard to get a lightning strike, but... Uh, we were talking about this big black cloud that we were driving toward, mm -hmm. and uh, we just kept driving toward it, and we felt some raindrops. I felt some raindrops. Yeah, just a few. But we thought, well, we're going to make the, this little town of Atlantic City, which I didn't realize it had like 200 people in it or less. Or oh, no, 26. 26. Yeah, 20, yeah. yeah it was less than, or less than 50, I think. Yeah. It was a small town. It was a small town. Anyway, we were running to that thinking, thinking we'd go for cover, and uh, all of a sudden the road got muddy, and we experienced uh, the... Wyoming mud that everyone says is so slick. Mm -hmm. It's pretty slick, gummed up our tires a little bit, but we weren't in it very long yeah. and, it, and it got very cold. We literally went down a hill and the whole valley was white. And I was like, did it snow? Yeah. Are we in snow? And we pull over and, and again, it was three, three eighth inch. Three eighth yeah. inch. Oh, Pale hell. everywhere. Hey Chris, tell them, <laughs> tell them what just happened. Well, we've been riding all day in the prairie. And we see this huge black cloud way off in the distance. It was probably, I don't know, 20 or 30 miles away because you can see forever out here. And we could see the lightning strikes hitting the ground. We, we could see what we thought was rain. I'm not so, it's definitely rain because the roads was wet and it got really slick fast. But if you look right over here, look here on the ground. I mean, this here is hail. Look at that. Quarter inch hail, three, no, three eighths hail. It is so cold too. Had been a um, cold front to come through, but it, it's almost just like it's just covered the ground. It has, it's covered the ground everywhere. Yeah, all that little white you see, that is all hail. It's everywhere and we missed it. But we missed it. It didn't hail on us at all. And uh, and it was pretty, 
pretty wild to think it about that. Wild. And then while we were standing there talking about the hail, the sun came out and it appreciably got warmer, mm -hmm. so much warmer. So, um, had it been a cold front because the yeah. temperature just kept dropping. Closer we got to to that dark cloud, and it was looked like it was maybe twenty or thirty miles away because we rode forever. And it's just so vast out here; you can see forever. What was the? I think after that we went to what was that city? South City. Oh, what was that? There's was a, a mining town. Yeah, they they redid a mining right. town and. South uh, Pass. Yeah, South Pass City or something like that. Yeah. And they redid a, the 1860 to 1900 mining town, and they had like a museum quality to it. But it was like 26 buildings of, of this reenactment slash museum. But my favorite, which was neat to see, you've seen in the videos already. But what we didn't put in the video, because I don't like to film other people. They may not want to be on video, and that's not the kind of guy. We met a guy that uh, was doing the Continental Divide, Divide. Trail, uh -huh. and they cuts right through that that mining town that replica r r historical mining town and uh, not only was he doing that but he also had done the at mm -hmm. and the pacific coast and uh, so this was going to finish him up as a triple crown yeah. and he was a neat guy to talk to he and, was he was cool and uh super cool guy yeah. we probably talked to him a while uh, had a pup with him yeah. uh, you know companion that was probably my uh -huh. favorite interaction today was yeah was with him it was pretty cool yeah he, he was a cool guy for sure um and then we left that town. That was kind of like a sidetrack um, and went uh, as we were coming. I guess that's the beginning of, of five right there or, mm -hmm. or thereabouts. Pretty close to the beginning of five. Yeah. And then we hit this awesome section. It was great. It's uh, it's like a ski club or, or ski resort area. It was gated. Cr cross country skiing. Cross country skiing. Skiing, yeah. skiing area. And yeah. we hit that. It was wonderful. It was great. It was a fantastic area. It was it, we. It was kind <coughs> rocky, very rocky, rocky, and a little sandy, but not terribly sandy. Not bad. And it was uh, real technical with these rocks sticking up everywhere. Um, it was great so, to be back in the trees again. Yeah, and, and then the, the trees the came up, and we were, yeah. you know, we're, we, we've mm -hmm. decided that we prefer the mountains and the trees I didn't, I didn't over the desert and the sage and then prairie, yeah, and the prairie or or or, or whatnot. Um, but that was a real good introduction, and all of a sudden, the next thing we know is we're in something like this. And uh, the last thing you guys saw before we did this wrap-up review is where we're camping at. And it is probably my favorite campsite in the this Wyoming BDR, <laughs> probably one of my top five campsites mm -hmm. I've ever been at. I'm sure Michael posts up some pictures of the river right next, uh, right next to us. Uh, it's just right across the road, and it is picturesque. I think... What animals did we see today? Did we, did the, the animal oh, roundup. And the, the antelope are crazy. I mean, they they run everywhere, and, and they will run along beside you, thinking that they're um, running away from you. And they seem like kind of dumb animals. We got and two snakes. Two small snakes. We are in bear country. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's these big lock boxes that say, put your food and smelly things here. And there's signs all the way in here. And it says, beware of bear. Beware so, of bear. Apparently, the bears think this is the best campsite that, <laughs> that they're at, at least in their top ten. But uh, we are prepared. We have our bear spray. Both of us do. Thank you again, Sid. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't know if we was going to utilize it, but I feel better that we have it, especially at this campground here. Yeah, so, and I'll say this is the little Popo AG campground mm -hmm. in the Shoshone forest national forest wind river something another yeah. two don't sleep <laughs> yeah don't sleep on this campground if you are doing the bdr i would say if you have to sleep anywhere on five and and you're camping out pick this one it's well worth it's it it's well worth it and it does have a vault toilet there's no running water but there is the river right next door we can filter water no big deal oh do you have anything else to add on the day I don't anything exciting? we're gonna try to get started early in the morning big day um we're gonna try to hit 10 sleep uh, right, it's an aggressive goal, but we're it's an aggressive try. goal uh, because they also have a brewery there. Yeah, I'm I'm so, hold, I'm holding the brewery uh, <laughs> right in front of him all day like a do carrot for a donkey. <laughs> I, I, I'm the type of person who likes to pack up my stuff nice and dry, so I'm 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 setting it out in the sunshine and taking my time fixing breakfast that sort of thing. And Mike's already packed up waiting on me. I'll so, just yell brewery out every yeah. five minutes and <laughs> so, <laughs> Chris moving. <laughs> so we are roughly 20 something miles from Landers, I believe. And um, my fuel light is on. Uh, we do, I do have to, um, MSR bottles. 
So hopefully we'll make it there without having walking. to use. Yeah, or I'm <laughs> not walking yet. But now we got about three bottles of fuel, yeah. so I, I think we'll we'll be fine. But I had to pick up a few supplies and landers, but it shouldn't take us no more than 20 minutes fuel and 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 everything. We're good, and this was such a better, much better day than how yesterday. <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, spirits are high. Yes. And uh, so I guess we'll leave you with uh -huh. that, and until tomorrow, we'll try and get this out. Until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. See you on the road.